Alright, howdy guys, this is the Hobbit Fan. We're back for some more Let's Play Super Mario World. In the last episode, we managed to get pretty far, I'd say. Yeah, we got pretty far. Um, so yeah, we're gonna attack Morton's castle and do bad things to him. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go inside. Oh, I missed the animation where Yoshi, like, doesn't want to go in, so Mario jumps off him. Watch out for these things. I used to think there was something up there, and I don't think there is. I really don't. So we're gonna get up here. If, if there is something up there, please tell me, because that's consumed me for the longest time. I've always thought there was something up there, and there isn't. So, yeah. I love the castle theme, it's pretty funny. I, I'm sorry, not funny. Um, I just like it. There's a skeleton. Now we're near, uh, what is that called? A dry bones, thank you. I've uh, been playing too much Minecraft. Um, if you jump on a dry bones, they just kind of collapse, but they come back. Standard for every Mario game. But if you hit them with a cape, they'll just go away. They'll go fourth person on your behind and they'll die, I guess. I don't, or die again? Undie? I don't know. How how do you kill the undead? Like, oh, wow, I'm making horrible jumps. Yeah, maybe I should have used Luigi for this, but no, I don't need to do that. So, I'm just going to wait for this guy to come. Here's a hint, you can kind of jump like that if you need to. You need to just make a very tight gap. So we're going to wait for this, because I want the cape. The cape is, makes everything easier, because you can float. Mario can become a floater, right? He is a plumber, after all. No, that's disgusting. So, anyway. Um, yeah. This is recorded on the same day as the other episodes, so... The, the other episodes' questions still apply, because I will... Um, put them to use. Like, for example, the volume is too loud or too quiet. If this is something that needs to be improved on, say so. Because, you know, I'm the one doing these, but that doesn't necessarily mean I know everything. Right? It's kind of like the teacher can still learn stuff from the students, in a way. Not that I'm teaching anything, oh, believe me. The way I've been playing, the only thing I've been teaching is how long it's been since I played this. So, I cue down up these vines, you'll see well, dry bones, but you also get a one up there. And there should be a coin that comes out. Yep. Visible platform. Um, oh, dang it. Okay, okay. Oh, man. I thought that was a safe spot. I really thought that was a safe spot. Now, be careful in castles hitting... Yeah, be careful in those castles. Dang it. Yeah, you gotta be really careful in those castles because if you hit those spots. See, like I said, it's been that long since I played it. I forgot that was a, that was not a safe spot. Kind of a bummer. We'll lose the we'll lose the coins. Well, there there is actually another way we can get them later on in the game. I think after you beat Bowser, you can kind of challenge all these again. I think. I don't know if that's true. I might have just spewed a whole lot of baloney, but Morton is going to pay for that. I wanted that coin, and he's not going to stop me from getting it. Ooh, that's got to give you back problems, Mario. Stop that. Hey! 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 That's alright, I didn't want to be able to stand up straight anyways. So, alright. Jump up here, get out of the way. can break blocks instantly with the spin jump. You know, tornado power. Vortex power activate! I don't really know in reality how um, the spin jump's more powerful than the normal one. Um, oh, what's the point of even getting these coins? Jump down. Oh, dang it! Really? 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 Ah. This is not going to take all, all 10 minutes. This is not going to take all 10 minutes. I should have been done with this castle by now. Not even going to fall for that. 
Alright, so that's a safe spot, but I'm not going to utilize it. I'm just going to go straight up. So, yeah. Got a 1-up. It's a good way to protect yourself to spin jump if you have the cape. Now, before a lot of boss battles, there is a green block. And this is no exception. Oh, there's a right there, but I don't really want to get it. This part always makes me nervous. I love the floating aspect of the cave. It's pretty cool. I'm sure Mario must like it, too. I'm sure he gets sick of all the quick jumps. But yeah, see? Green block. Remember what I said? Always, 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 always. In fact, I'm going to... No. I was going to say, I'm going to say always as I fight this boss. Okay. Always, 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 always. That was fast. Look at that, beat the boss. That was quick. Oh, thank goodness, too. I'm sick of saying always. Oh, boy. That's going to be rough. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. He just jumps on the castle and it falls over? Really? Okay, okay, ignoring the fact this is a Mario game where we have a, a five foot something plumber jumping 20 feet in the air on top of giant bipedal turtles. Ignoring that fact, how is the plumber that is a third of the size of the castle go into the castle, die inside, fight enemies inside, fight a boss battle, the boss having his own room, and the boss being slightly bigger than Mario. And all this time, like, does he get smaller as he goes inside? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Alright, we're actually not going to progress. We're going to stay with you. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to go. I didn't want to do the castle. Dang it. I wanted to do all the hidden areas first. That's okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab fire flowers because of where we're going. That's a pretty useful area there. Um, Yeah, we're going into the water. And again, that has a red spot, so... This also has a hidden key. The hidden key area has a hidden key. <sighs> Alright. If I'm not... If somebody else is going to say it, I'm going to say it. Keyception. Come on, we all knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. going to ambush these guys while they're sleeping. I don't know, they look like... They look like they want to make out with Mario. Maybe that's why he's trying to hide from them. Although they kill you. So maybe they have some sort of disease. I don't know. Let's see, so fireballs in the water, killing fish, very logical. Again, that's why I'm saying Mario games are not logical. But come on! Mario was like a third of the size of the castle, and he went through all that inside? Alright, this is a P-block. I mean, there's no bathroom nearby, so he just does that. Look at his face. Like, could you imagine if that was his mouth? That'd be creepy. Um, get another P- oh, that's not another P-block. Oh man. I'm gonna go back through it. I'm gonna get that coin. I'm not missing another dragon coin. Those so you have three kinds of fish. The chasers that fall asleep and when you approach they try and get you. And they're pretty hard to avoid. These things that just kinda wait around. Lazy bums. You need to go get a job. Even if it's a bad economy, I don't care. Get a job. Stop harassing plumbers and get a job. Like, you know, Mario's got to be the hardest working plumber ever. <laughs> Joe the Plumber's got nothing on this guy. I mean, Mario's inflating himself with helium to try and save his girlfriend and defeat a giant bipedal spiky turtle and his giant bipedal spiky minions. See, there are two dragon coins. Good thing I didn't miss this area. Alright, so we're gonna... 
Now, as per Mario's standards, you cannot have more than two fireballs on the screen at the time. Um, I'm missing. Yep, I'm missing something. Be very careful here. You don't want to miss this area. I mean, miss that coin. Oh. You know, Mario's eventually got to go for air. Oh dang, oh dang, I guess that's the air. Okay. Okay, that's the air, that's the air. Well, I got the five coins, so I'm gonna grab the P-switch. Alright, let's grab the P-switch. See, that's an example where there are two of them. Right, excuse me, Mr. Fish. You know what, why don't I just grab the two? And now, Mario swims faster with the key. Oh dang. I'm small, Mario. Help, help, help. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a small Mar- Oh, dang it. Oh, I didn't save any of that? Well, son of a- That's alright. We're keeping all the failures in, by the way, folks. We're keeping all the failures. Yeah, we can get mushrooms if we need it. There's only one time in the game where you're gonna get um, a power up. Um, I should finish that sentence probably. There's only one time in the game where you're gonna get power up, where you don't need the m the mushroom. That's green block. Because what do we say about green box, everybody? You always, 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 always get a cape. Is that going to be a thing in this LP? Well, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to grab that. We're just going to blaze through this level. Now we know what we're doing. Going to make up for lost time, you see? So, get the P-switch. Ah, uh, P-switch. <laughs> I meant helium. Pelium, I guess. I don't know. Super P. How should I know? Super P. With long... No, I'm not going to make that joke. This is a family-friendly channel. Look at his mouth. He looks like some sort of demented anime thing. I don't know. You're going to die. Alright, cool. Avoid that. Overall, though, through this level, we've gained one thing. We gained an extra life. Excuse me, partner. See, I should not have went for that coin. I should not have went for it. Because we're going to have to play through this part anyways, right? So yeah, but anyway, that's another one out, just in case. Alright. Donut Secret House. That's one of the few times where there's a boss battle. I mean, a boss battle in a ghost house. Would you believe it? It's like a giant ghost. Or they're booze. Apparently booze is supposed to be different than ghosts. I don't know. I heard that from my friend. Uh, I don't know. My friend, the one who actually made this channel. Or no, he didn't say it. Somebody else did. Alright, so just gonna blaze through. Oh, this is a water level. There's no need for blazing, you know. So yeah, we're just gonna march through here. Gonna hit that save point. So there's no point. Yeah, save point. Because there is no point. Sounds like a commercial written by a five-year-old with memory loss. I don't know. With amnesia. The funny thing about amnesia, it doesn't normally work the way that... You know, the movies portray it, the movie portrays it, hit in the head, I can't remember who you are. That's not how it works. If Generally, if you're inflicted with amnesia, what happens is you have a hard time learning things in the future. Sure, you might forget some other stuff, but for the most part, you retain your memories from before the in injury or illness or whatever. So that's how amnesia works in real life. That's according to my psychology teacher. Kudos to you. You know who you are. If you're watching this, I highly doubt she is, but yeah.
Mm-hmm.